you love pancakes, but maybe not all the carbs and the sugar that go along with it. Well, today we're making banana pancakes and I'm gonna be adding some collagen peptides to that, which is gonna boost up the protein in our pancakes as well as give us a nice amino acid profile, which is always good for our hair and skin. And uh, we're gonna sweeten this up slightly by using bananas and eggs. And to keep the carbs low, we're using a little bit of coconut flour. We're gonna finish this off, not with some maple syrup, but I'm gonna be using some organic fresh strawberries and blueberries. The flavors are just delicious. This, these are really satisfying pancakes. You're gonna love them. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. So why was the pancake arrested? For unwaffle activities. <laughs> To start off our pancakes, we're using some almond milk. Now I get mine from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna place it here in my bowl. And I may be adding a little more just depending on how thick things turn out. All right, so here I have my collagen peptides. I just wanted to show it to you. This I get from Costco, great deal. Yeah, it's good stuff and it's a great price. So I like to dissolve that, which I have my little scoop here and I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and mix it in with the almond milk just so it doesn't clump up. Sometimes I have a problem with it clumping up. Then to that, we're gonna add our coconut flour. Now this is, like I said, just a quarter of a cup. Coconut flour really absorbs liquid very well, so this is gonna get really thick. So that's what I'm talking about when you might have to add a little bit more almond beverage, okay? So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. All right. And we'll set that aside for a minute. And we're gonna take our banana and we're gonna mash it up. Now you wanna use a very, you know, pretty ripe banana. You can see here mine is reasonably ripe. And that just means it'll be a little bit sweeter. So take a masher or just a fork and you wanna just mash this up until it gets a little bit liquidy. Now we're gonna put our eggs in. I've got three eggs here. And we're gonna add just a touch of vanilla, somewhere between a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon. And that brings out some of the sweetness in the recipe. And we'll add just a pinch of salt. Take our whisk and we're gonna blend this up. Then we're gonna take our flour mixture and add it to the egg mixture. And we're gonna just blend those two together. And we'll take some baking soda and place that in. Now I'm gonna let this sit for just about five minutes or so, and I'm gonna, in the meantime, we'll, we'll set up our stove, we'll get our pan hot. So while our pan's warming up over there, I'm going to cut up some strawberries because I'm gonna mash these a little bit just to make it more saucy to put on my pancakes. And again, you can use maple syrup if you want, but I think the fresh fruit really does the trick, especially if you got fresh, you know, sweet fruit. And then just give it a little mash. Sometimes if I don't have strawberries, I'll just do blueberries and I like to mash those as well. Now I have my pan, like it's been heating up for about five minutes now on low heat and you have a couple of options. First of all, you should use a, a non-stick type pan because these pancakes are a little more delicate than your traditional ones. It just makes it easier to flip them over. And then your next option is, I'm gonna use a combination of avocado oil and a little bit of butter. You could just use avocado oil or you could just use butter. It's your preference, whatever you wanna do. I like to use avocado oil because it's healthy for you and it doesn't have much flavor to it. So it's not gonna flavor your pancakes like say olive oil would. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there and then I'm gonna get a little bit of butter and add that to the pan. And the butter helps you to, to be able to tell when it's getting hot too, right? You see all the bubbling going on? I may turn my pan up just a smidgen in the beginning. All right, here we go with our batter. I 
I like to place my plates for the pancakes behind the pan on the stove. That way it'll sort of heat it up and get it nice and warm so you're not putting your hot pancakes onto a cold plate. All right, so now we're gonna flip these over. They've sort of look have a more dry look to them, so let's have a look underneath and try and lift those up without tearing them. And I don't know if you can tell, but there is they are browned, so I'm gonna give this one a flip. And then we're gonna cook those on the other side for a couple more minutes. Place them on my plate. You could put them in the oven if you wanted to, say a very low oven, maybe 107 degrees Fahrenheit. That would keep them warm. But for now, I'm just gonna place a little piece of foil right over the top and we'll cook the rest of these. Now each batch, I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil and a little bit more butter. Here's our pancakes, nice and hot. We ended up getting 13 pancakes out of that batch. Let's top these pancakes with some of our slightly mashed strawberries and blueberries. These pancakes are moist, slightly sweet, packed with protein, and they have that wonderful hint of butter flavor. The fresh strawberries and blueberries finish it off. I'm sure you're gonna love these. Now, if you'd like a little side of bacon to go along with these pancakes, I've got the recipe for you. Try out my oven-baked bacon. When you cook bacon in the oven the way I'm gonna show you, you will have no mess, no splatter, and your bacon will turn out absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment as always. Okay, we'll see you next week.